Hey, what's going on guys? We're going to be working at a, a network using Packet Trace where I'm connecting three sites together. I saw this network at, um, at a video on YouTube, so I thought I'll give it a try. But yeah, we're doing three sites. It's going to be just simple, basic configuration for the beginners. So, right now I'm adding three routers to each site. Now I'm adding my three core switches for each site. So for the access switches, I'm going with the 2950s. We're gonna have four of them on one site, two of them on site three. And for site two, we're just using two servers, which could be my main DNS server and HTTP server. On site three, we're gonna add a DHCP server just for that site and, a, and another DHCP server for site one. Let me just add another switch that's got to connect to the DHCP server in site one. Let me clean this up a little bit. So we have three sites here, all set up ready with router switches and servers. Let's add all the PCs. And guys, again, if you, if you have packet trace here at home, you are more than free to follow with me here. I hope I'm not moving too fast. Hopefully, you'll be able to pick up a couple things from this video. Again, just cleaning up a little bit. So that's four PCs for each access switch. All right, now for two switches, just cross ethernet cords. Switch with a server that uses straight through. And a switch with a router also uses straight through. Guys, feel free to pause the video at any time if I'm moving too fast.
All right, now it's time to connect our routers. For this connection, we go to use serial links. We need to add a port for our serial links. So first things first, we turn off the router. Turn the router back on. And that's it. Now you do the same thing for the other sites. Now for site 2, we need two serial ports. Now we can connect our routers. I like to have everything organized, so I'm gonna write the IP address of every link. And just for this tutorial, we just go to use the easiest IP address, which is the 192.168.10 network connecting to a class C something mask. What I want here is all this to be connected together. So I want just one network for this entire site, which is going to be the 192.168.31 um, network with a 24 subnet mask. And the same thing for the other sites as well. I want all this to be connected to one subnet mask. Again, this is a basic configuration. We're not using no VLANs. We're not adding no SVI, port security. This is just basic, basic configuration. Again, guys, this is just basic configuration. We're not adding no SVIs, no port security, DHCP snooping, ARP inspection, none of that. This is just one simple network connected to one subnet mask. So now let's name the servers. For this server right here, it's gonna be a DHCP server for site one. IP address 192.168.42 with a 24 subnet mask. This one over here is going to be DHCP2 and it's going to have the 192.168.32 with a 24 subnet mask. Before you start building the network, it's important to have everything organized, to have a diagram of all the links connected to one another, all the IPs down, all the, the names down. It's very important. So let's start the configuration at site 2 on the router. Interface. S020 IP address Don't forget the no shut Now the clock rate The 
let's go with this one. All right, now let's configure the other serial link. IP address will be 192.168.1.2. 255, 255, 255, 0. I'll show IP interface brief. All right, we have both of our IP addresses configured. Now let's move on to the next router. Look how easy it is guys to do this when you have everything planned out already beforehand. Show IP interface brief. We got our IP address configured. Alright, so all of our routers should be connected to one another. Let's configure this interface first for the 1821 network. And there you have it. Alright, so now let's configure the google.com HTTP server. With the 192.168.5.3 and the binge.com DNS server with IP address 192.168.1.2. Five two, yes, that's correct. All right. So we're going to services. Make sure that it's on. It's usually on by default. Uh, we gotta erase what it says at the A shard, and we gotta write down Google.com so that when we browse the website, we can make sure that it works. Now we're going to desktop IP configuration and let's write down our IP address of 192.168.53. For gateway, we're right we're typing the 192.168.51. That's our router. In the DNS, we gotta write down our server, which is 192.168.52. Now let's go to our DNS server. We'll go to desktop, IP configuration, we're gonna write down this IP address.
Now we gotta write down our router's IP address for the default gateway. And for the DNS server, we gotta write, we gotta type down its own IP address because it's acting as the as the server, as a DNS server. Now services, we go to go down to DNS, make sure that it's on. And we're going to type the same address again. Now we write google.com. We're typing its address. So now we know when we browse the website, it's going to... So when we type google.com in our browser on one of the PCs, it's going to look up the IP address on the DNS server and it's going to take us directly to the google.com HTTP server. Now let's configure the DHCP for site 1. Let's type down the IP address, which is 192.168.4.2 On the default gateway, we got to write our router's gate, our router's IP address, which is 192.168.4.1 DNS server, we will write the 192.168.5.2, that's our main server that we just configured Go to DHCP, make sure that it's on. I'm typing the name site one DHCP with the default gateway again of our router. Starting IP address since we already have two static. IP address configured, we go to start our IP address at dot three. And that will be it for the DHCP server on site one. Now let's head down to site 3 and configure that DHCP server.
everything looks good. Yep. Now we need some sort of routing protocol. Usually I would go with OSPF, but for now I'm gonna try the the oldest protocol, RIP. So it'll be network 192.168.40. I always like to do a show IP interface brief before I start adding the network. That way I don't miss any. Now let's go to site two. Same thing. Do show IP interface brief. Router rip to enable the protocol. 192.168.50. Let me make sure we have all the networks. Alright, our last router. So again, there's different types of routing protocol like OSPF, EIGRP. You know, but for this tutorial, I'm just using the oldest. It's actually the first time configuring a network using grip, so it's good practice. Let's do a show IP route command to see our routes. And it looks like site one has picked up all the networks from the other routers, which is perfect. So let's run a test here. Let me ping from site one to site three. Perfect. Site one to the DHCP server over here. That's perfect, successful. That's what we want to see. Let me just fix this over here. I want to make this switch right here as my main root bridge. I think right now this switch over here is probably the root bridge. Yep, here it is. Okay, let's change that. So let's say I have a more powerful switch over here and let's make this the root bridge by the, using the command spanning tree from VLAN 1 to 100, so that we're gonna add VLANs later on. VLAN 1 to 100, root primary. Then we go to our second switch, spanning tree VLAN 1 to 100. And we're gonna make this the, no. We're gonna make this the root secondary. So in case our main root bridge fails, the other switch is going to take over as the root bridge. So there you have it. Alright guys, so there you have it. I cleaned it up a little bit to run a test. Now let's make sure that everything is working. Um, let's start out with the Google.com. Make sure the server DNS is working just fine. There you have it. Now let's just turn on the simulator. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If I was going too fast, Feel free to watch the video again. Pause at any time. Make sure you're following along by downloading the app Packet Tracer from the Cisco website. And again, let me just run a test so you guys can see that everything is working just fine. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification for more videos like this one. Peace.